visiting with Tony Bertowski. Tony is the head of the horticulture department at Trident Technical College in Charleston, South Carolina. Tony, y'all have a diverse program. What are you trying to expose the students here to and prepare them for? Well, a lot of uh, students come here interested in plants, and what they find out is there's a lot more than just plants. So they get a good exposure to building everything that's around here. Um, we've got everything from furniture to paved areas. Uh, we've got a small golf green. We grow food, um, as well as planting and taking care of shrubs and a greenhouse where they're growing everything and preparing it all up to the point where something could be sold. I think one of the things I like as I've walked around here is that you've got a wonderful collection of plants and it looks like you've really focused on ones that do well and I think that so you must be pushing that right plant right place because you also do teach design don't you? Absolutely and that's the great thing about something like this is that this is kind of a living laboratory that's around our area so we get a chance to plant a lot of different things when I say we the students get a chance to put these in the ground see how they do there's no mistakes here so a lot of times we'll put in new stuff and it doesn't do well or we'll put something where um, it has a chance to flourish um, so they see how things are doing here and how they can integrate them into a class like landscape design we know that sustainability is what everybody's so excited about, and I think that's something that y'all are trying to give kids ideas about while they're here. Well, um, in the last uh, three or four years, we started a sustainability program, and it involves a class, and what's really fun about this is that some of the newer technologies, green roofs, green walls, um, rainwater harvesting, permeable paving. We don't even we don't just talk about all those things, but they're able to install these things. We've got some areas around here where we get to see um, how green roofs are being uh, constructed and how well they do. Um, one of the exciting things is is we've got. Uh, up to 7,000 gallons we collect off the greenhouse and we use that water um, we could use it to water plants but we also use it to recycle and, and cool the greenhouse so we're reusing a lot of the uh, elements that um, are oftentimes just trying to we're trying to manage to get rid of we are seeing and talking to a lot of people who seem interested in changing lifestyles halfway through. Do you have both young and older people involved? Oh, absolutely. In fact, one of the things we're trying to do is recruit more people out of high school, believe it or not, because the majority of our students are people that are non-traditional in their 20s, their 30s, even people that um, are, are thinking of a career change or they've always loved to do this. They just want to know more. So we have a tremendously diverse a student population in our program um, which makes it a lot of fun and it makes it easy to learn because uh, these students bring as much to the classes as the instructors do. Well you said it if people want to know more what is the best way to find out about the program and get in touch with you? Well if they want to know more about the program um, the best way to go is go to our website tridenttech.edu um, if they're really interested in taking classes here getting into our horticulture program they can call me at 843-574-6278. Tony, thank you for letting us visit you and thank you for arranging such a beautiful day in South Carolina. You're very welcome. <laughs>